uh, the next one. Four hundred meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn right. right. Infanta or Malgas and the back is our accommodation for the weekend so it's Friday Friday afternoon we just arrived here unpacked and uh, we're gonna be start, starting to fish soon but uh, before that we're gonna do some some chumming on the jetty show you guys the jetty that's the jetty there so we're gonna do a chum bag and leave it out for the afternoon and then later on throw some live bait and uh, hopefully some some of that chum will attract some bait and we can get some liveies so stay tuned guys and we'll see what happens later okay, so we're gonna use pulchard for, for the chum bag so we're gonna start off with about a half a, half a bag and just see what happens Onion bag, we're gonna use that as a chum bag. Go put the chum bag in, see what happens. Early morning fish here, I think it's a Garanta. Put the mud prone out on a Carolina rig. And not even a few seconds, and we're on.
Hij is breder in wat grenten. size and we're gonna keep this guy for the for the pry. I think we're gonna do a smoke on him tonight. Lovely stuff. But how peaceful is this morning man? No traffic, no noise, just nature. It's all here. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, let's prank you on with a nice fish over here. So you put the live weight out here on the jetty. And it seems to be a nice cobby. Okay, got Khalil on here with a nice cobby on the live bait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like a decent cobby, a nice size. Back, 
jawaban ko. Well yes. done, Hala. Well Thank you, guys. Leka, leka, me, leka. Yes! Here we go, some lovely liveies, put them in the live well. Okay, we got Majo on here with a nice fish. Also a livey. It's probably a nice cob. Can I get my rod out here? Out. Out, yeah. Oh, the camera. I don't see too much. It's just sitting down. You have to sit there. You have to sit down. I just sit down. My livey's been in for about an hour and nothing's taking on my livey. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Just as I mentioned that to Halil, yeah. there my rod. I thought Halil was talking nonsense with you. Three months to your rod, your rod, your rod. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. It's not too big. It's not too big. But it's good. But um. What's the red room? Who's got the net here? Anybody with the net? I'm here. Right, you know what to do, eh? Yeah, I know. Hold on, the lead. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, lovely cubby, nice lovely cubby. Under, under, under both ends, there we go. Top there we nice go. Nice man. Perfect. Top, top. <laughs> Check it out. Well done, well oh, done. Now you speak, what are you talking? <laughs> you speak. Hello. You speak. I in the scissors. He's not small. Yo. Very nice. Well done. Well done, Madge. Well done, Madge. Alhamdulillah, mission accomplished. On a six foot. <laughs> okay, so we we like all with live bait now, yeah. Um, let's count, let's do a count on the rods. It's one, two, three, and four rods out. Yeah, so we four guys, each one each one a rod with a live bait out, and the time now is about half past two, three o'clock in the afternoon. The high tide was about twelve o'clock, so we just passed the full on high. No pool in the water, water standing nice and still, and the cubs are feeding. Okay, welcome back guys. So we took a bit of a break this afternoon, caught a nap, had some rest. We were early out this morning uh, fishing. So after the break now we decided we're going to make some supper and I decided to fill it that, that grunter up and along with that cabalio also and we got a cape stump also, a size cape stump. So we got three fish on the menu and we're doing a fillet on all of them and instead of doing a, a fillet and grill it, we're going to do a fillet and smoke it. So we got the smoker with, show you guys the smoker. That's our smoker there and we got our chef, our one and only Frankie, doing our preparation of the meal. So I hand you over to him and we see what he does. Cool, so what we're going to be doing is we've got our uh, nice fish fillets here that uh, the one prepared for us. All we're going to do is we're going to do a very simple um, marinade and spice uh, mix on it. We're going to eat it with some salt, some fresh ground uh, black pepper, some Robertson spice for fish, trust the old spice. And then the secret um, that we're going to be using is the Mrs. Ball's uh, chutney and um, some brown sugar also afterwards. So the brown sugar helps with the caramelization uh, once we put it into the smoker. But when we head into the smoker then uh, we'll show you guys how we set it up and everything. But yeah, let's head on to um, and start spicing our, our, our fish fillets. 
so we'll start off with uh, just uh, putting some salt on the pellets. Some fresh uh, ground black pepper. some chutney make sure to coat the <coughs> evenly with the chutney it gives it a nice flavor Okay, so after we place the chutney on the fish, um, we're gonna lay it out with nice brown sugar. Um, ideally, you want the brown sugar to stand about 10 minutes just so that it pulls nicely into the fish. And right, so now that this is done, uh, we're gonna heat up and uh, put this onto the smoker. Um, and once it's done, we've got a little surprise at the end that just helps with the overall uh, flavor profile of this fish. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright, so our pellets are done. We are going to take them out now. So the dish is prepared by Frankie and we're going to chow down now. So we got, like I said, the three fillets, um, the grunter, the cob and the cape stump. And we're going to see if we can taste the difference in our taste. So uh, let's go. Yeah. Mm. Secret sauce. Wine, wine chips. <laughs> 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 like cheese. Like cheese. It's the fruit and chutney, that's why I see don't touch the fruit and chutney. Oh. Mm. So the side dish that uh, Frankie also prepared was a potato wedge. And that looks very nice. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. favorite uh, uh, signature ocean basket sauce <laughs> copyright, copyright. But it tastes damn good. <laughs> very good, Frankie. Very good. Beautiful. Mm. Nice. A nice meal. Nice. Taste the <laughs> mm. <laughs> Very good. What more can we can we do but enjoy this nice meal with mm. good friends and look at this beautiful setting we have here. Did you solve the uh, Frankie? Mm. That's good. The smoke is um, nice and light. So that is a, a wine oak barrel. Mm. We tried other um, wood or chop. Um, for smoking fish, you need that um, fine, fine wine taste. taste. <laughs> 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 Not a fine wine taste. Mm. <laughs> the fine type of um, Okay, 
Okay guys, so that ends off our Saturday here at the Infanta, at this fantastic accommodation. So tomorrow morning we're going to eat it early, hopefully for some granta and maybe some leofus. Hopefully for some leofus tomorrow. So stay tuned guys and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Morning, morning from Infanta here. What a lovely morning, stunning. Not a breeze or not a wind inside. Nice and calm here on the, on the river. Uh, on the history or, or good sense of the bread river. And looks like we got a bit of a cob run happening now this morning. Got a nice one just now and uh, released him. So fishing with a small rod, light tackle, 5 kilo line and using mud prawn as bait. So the time now is about 6 o'clock in the morning, just after 6 and that's going to dead low now. So we're hoping for some granta this morning. There is a bit of swirls but I'm not sure if it's cob or, or, or granta. So stay tuned, hopefully we get a nice big one this morning. On here, hoping it's a nice granta. Uh, it's a good weight to it, also. I want to force him. It's coming in nice and easy now. Uh, Grant to put up a heavy, a heavy fight, a heavy tussle. That feels like a nice cob. Said Cobb, can you see the theory slap? Oh, let go on the light tackle. <laughs> Back. 
Okay, so that ends our afternoon session here at uh, this place called Cape Infanta. And uh, we had some beautiful cobs this morning. I got two on the, the mud floor. And Faik lost a, a beauty. We <laughs> suspected to be over 10 kilos. <laughs> and uh, Hala over here got a nice cob. Looks like the same one from yesterday, but the same size, about 4 kilo. So it was an eventful morning and afternoon session. And we're also ending the, the weekend away now. So we're saying bye for now. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, us exploring uh, you know, Cape Town or Western Cape Surround, please hit the like and subscribe button and then we'll maybe do some more videos for you guys. Cool. Yes.